maybe some parts of this presentation I'll have to skip or will just quickly run through. And the endeavor is always to you know, learn from you. Yeah. I'm here to you know, perhaps provoke some thoughts, some ideas. Maybe this becomes a basis for some of us to go back and uh, uh, read and study more about Art of War. Uh, before, say, we uh, proceed further on this, uh, I think I have given uh, too kind an introduction about myself. Perhaps, you know, a simpler one would have been, I have been all over the place. And how many people put out more than 50 trades in a month? And on this last question, uh, you typically trade, uh, invest for the long term, you, you don't buy those too loud? Okay. It's getting me back, so I'm, I'm, I'm thinking you know, it's too loud. Whenever you know the word art comes up, what are the few words that come to our mind? Let's not spend time thinking quick. Drawing, drawing, hmm? drawing, picture. drawing picture. What? Painting. 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 Sculpture. Sculpture. What else? Creativity. Music. Creativity. Music. Okay. These are things which in general are very expressive. And there's something I've heard called creative. Personalized. Personalized. So what does, when does a painting become art? Is every painting art? Yes, no. no. Yes. So what is the difference? Hmm? Somebody said yes. yes. Why? Every piece of painting is an art? Okay. Uh, let me ask a broader question quickly. When does a piece of work become art? What is the differentiating line? What must happen so that it becomes art? One, one person at a time. Skillful sculpted. What else? If you like it, then it becomes an art for you. For that matter, you know, everything in this world is only what you will perceive it to be. But when we talk about, that's a very important point you said, but that does not apply to art, I think. When, when it makes a lot of money, great. Okay. large number of people appreciate that. The thought process gone into the making of painting. Applied thought process. Applied thought process, good one. When it's second nature. When it becomes second nature, wonderful. What else? Okay, one thing. I think we have all forgotten one thing. Can I request that we all at least mute our phones if we don't power them down? Can I see everybody's cell phones out? Please take them out, silence them, or, or just shut them down. And if anybody's phone rings, you're going to buy all of us a whiskey tonight, okay? <laughs> just one, just one ring. Has everybody silenced their phones? So please make sure you know the rules for the house are anybody's phone rings, he's going to buy a drink to everybody else. Please help me grab that person whose phone rings. And we're going to get drunk, okay? One ring. Okay, so you said thoughtful. You said <coughs> no. Our friend in this uh, T-shirt. What was that you said? It's a second nature. It's a second nature. And you said somebody said applied action. Applied action, thought process. Okay, let me jump and I, I pitch in my, my points and, and you know, we can all keep debating what art is but we need to move to other topics. See, any piece of work, when it comes naturally to you, it sort of creates a sense of harmony in you, when you can relate with it and when you, when you are at ease with it, you know, you don't have to analyze it, you don't have to critique it, you just accept it, it becomes one with you. So some kind of music seems art to some people and to some music is entertainment. And the same way I think you know, it works for everything else. But for that matter, it's not necessary that you know, music or dance or painting or you know, photography alone has to be art. Anything that we do as human beings, if I were to summarize all of this, excellence is art. So when war is elevated to a level of being excellent at it, it can be very artful. Cooking can be an art, and for that matter, in traditional, I can't call it a Hindu Shastras, the traditional Indian way of life, it has identified 64 broad forms of art, and war was one of them. So let's conclude for now, art is about being excellent, art to be artful is applied action, second nature, and to be excellent. So when we're talking of art of war here, we are perhaps not as focused about, you know, 
the, the, the logistical details and so many other things of war. It's an applied thought process of war. And we're going to apply it to technical analysis. Let me jump quickly to war. Just one word each, one at a time. Whenever you hear the word war, what is the first word that comes to your mind? Fear. Fight. Fear. Fight. What else? Destruction. destruction. Fear. Fight. Destruction. What else? Death. 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 What else? Aggression. Aggression. What else? Conflict. Conflict. What else? Rights. 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 Conflict. Right. Death. Fear. Destruction. Weapon. Weapon. What else? Win. 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 Who said that? Okay, then? Greed. 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 Okay, what else? Okay, that's the detail of war. You know, you, you already know it. <laughs> Good. We'll, we'll have you part. What's your name, sir? Vijay. Vijay? What? Okay. So, okay. Some few things that would come to my mind, most of it is there, is, you know, war is struggle, which has been translated by various... Uh, I give you references of uh, when you go back, uh, what to read and take. Mm. It can be analyzed, becomes intelligence. And intelligence, when it can be applied to varieties of endeavors, becomes wisdom. So, perhaps I'm trying to, for what usually people call us as analysts, be a little wise with you all here. And it might help all of us to you know, crack a few wise cracks, uh, make the day lighter. So, we'll have to follow a certain structure. Because time is short and we have a lot to achieve. Though the structure is not necessarily comprehensive, things are far way beyond it. And for those who are members of ACMA, I would say, you know, once we go back, we can carry on the discussion on the discussion forum. Or perhaps, you know, even on Facebook and LinkedIn for those who are not uh, yet members of ACMA. So I'll, I'll have to borrow on what Shunzu did and some parts I'll succeed at covering in this short time. Some I may not. So, uh, okay. I think I've jumped up a few slides with you. Who Sunzu was? Vipsika pronounced his name as. Can you say it loudly? Okay, there are several pronunciations of his name and several spellings. Now, one second, I think I'm jumping something. In all the military academies throughout the world. And if you are going to quickly look at who. Sunzu was, his name is spelled as Sunzu, Sunwu, Sunzi. So when you go and search on Google or Yahoo, you know, you'll find several names. But all of them are perhaps the same guy. What the, all of these names is, means is Master Son. 2005.